Hey everybody, Jazzy here. Welcome back to another episode of Don't Starve Hamlet with Wagstaff. It is day 448. I am harvesting coffee like I should, and most of it's going to wither. Although I noticed the first one I harvested did not wither for some strange reason. Seems like not all of them are withering now. I don't know what's going on, but I mean, I'll take it. If any of them don't want to wither at this point, I will, I will, I will relish in the ashes saved. Because I don't think I can I can create ashes fast enough to keep up with this coffee production. Anyways, today we are still relishing in the beauty of this build. I'm sorry, I don't gloat too much, but I'm I'm proud of this build. I'm I'm pretty impressed. Uh, but today I want to first look at first look at our home. I feel like I've been neglecting it for some of these larger builds, and I want to make sure it's pretty. I'll make sure it's pretty percent, and then I'm gonna kind of think about going on a collecting trip because we wasted not wasted why would I say wasted none of this was wasted all of it was all of his resources well spent but that being said we did use a lot of resources building this friggin thing especially the stone road turf that alone between between this build and this like continuing working on the city area has depleted most of our boards and rock supply hard to believe after spending an entire dry season just Picking the volcano completely clean of all of the rocks. So, yeah, I want to go on a little little resource collecting trip today. And the first first item of business is going to be refueling the rocks. Now, for those of you who don't know, you see these little yellow spots around some of the entrances to the ruins. That is ancient stone turf, and if you pitchfork it up, you get one cut stone back. And you can see we actually have quite a few of these spots just on our starter map alone. Our starter island, I should say. We got quite a few. I've dug that up. That was long, long since dug up. But we also have a lot on the other islands, usually in deep forest around these these crumbling visages and 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 ruins entrances. And we got, oh yeah, we got a ton over here, a ton at the Puglisk Island. So that might be worth going on a collecting trip. I haven't even, I haven't even mapped out all the Herald Island yet. So there might be a lot in there alone. Anyways, first thing I want to do is pick all this coffee, cook it up. And I also need to, uh, I also need to replenish my food supply. It's kind of dwindling. I had like 40... I had, I had a stack of meatballs at one point, and that's gone down to like 17. So before I go anywhere, I want to make sure that I have enough food to to not need to uh, not need to cook any food for a long time. If I was playing anyone other than Wagstaff, I would probably just eat it as I go. But because this guy is so reliant on crockpot foods, it's just easier to cook it all up at once and bundle it up. Got the bundles, might as well use them. Okay, yeah, we're going to need ashes. Also should bring some ashes over here. There's no point having them over there uh, in my main home. So let's, yeah, let's. Okay, I'm gonna cook up this coffee. Oh, grab some, grab some honey while I'm here for the coffee production. And yeah, cook that up. Cook up some food, and then we will get going. Ouch! I should wear. I should really wear a visor while I'm doing this. Those bees do hurt, especially if they all hit you. And they're definitely harder to kite in single player than they are in DST. Let me just grab a stack of honey while I'm here. All right, 32 cups of coffee made. I think I probably have more than a stack. <laughs> Oops, did not mean to cook that much, but it's good to have. I will bundle up some coffee. Actually, you know, I'm gonna keep this stuff out for a moment because I wanna cook up, I wanna cook up a little bit of meatballs. And I'm gonna go, uh, now nah, let's bundle it up for now. I don't want to lose any sort of durability on it while cooking. Right? There. Um, I think I'm gonna go to the... I think I'm gonna buy some stuff in the grocer. That seems to be the quickest way of getting food and filler most of the time. And we got plenty of oinks. Let's just see how much uh, 74 oinks can get us in terms of... Oh wait, what am I saying? I've got a berry farm. I've got a friggin' berry farm right here. I have neglected it, to be quite honest. Ever since I moved the berry bros out, yeah, this this farm has been a bit neglected. But the fact is, we can make a lot of food with this berry farm, especially with all the gobblers that spawn. So let's uh, 
Let's pick this farm clean for now and see how many meatballs we can make. And you know what? I'm gonna try something. There is food on the edges of these. There's food on the edge here. I'm wondering if there will be any gobblers that don't see the food. Now that there's no other mobs in here that kind of kind of make the gobblers scared, which was the berry bros previously, I wonder if Yeah, see, even when they even when they come out of the inner bushes, they'll still go for the the edge food. Which is cool. I think what I can do now that the berry bros are out of here is take one nettle and just put it in the center. I don't really need these edges anymore. And I'll probably knock down these walls and oh, so much to do, so much to do. I've been neglecting parts of the uh, parts of this base because I've just been so focused on building this uh, this new farm. All right, that's all the berries. Get out of here, guys. Get out of here. Oh, they're they're they they don't like the pogs. Let's see if I can get them over here. Yes, perfect, perfect, perfect. Oh, one hit from the tentacle spike. How lovely is that? Let's see if I can get these guys before dusk falls. Oh yeah, this will be this will be all the food we need. Absolutely all of it. Yep. Damn, how many gobblers was that? I missed a drumstick somewhere. I only have 13 drumsticks. Where's the last one? Did it fall inside? It might have. Let's just knock this boy down and see. Yeah, we're well, missing one drumstick. Where's that drumstick? Drumstick. Oh, drumstick. Might be in here. No. I wonder if it, like, fell in here and the pog ate it. Oh, I think I see it. Ah, uh, you were hiding! You were hiding from me, little drumstick. You can't hide from me. You can't hide from me, not now, not ever. Let's just knock these walls down now. We have absolutely no need for them. Arguably, we never had a need for them. I don't know why I felt like the Berry Bros had to be... Had to be, like, gathered on the edges. Whatever. I don't presume to explain the way I think... Not ever. So 14 drumsticks and 62 berries should be enough filler to make the meatballs. Now question is, do I want do I want meatballs or do I want do I want bacon eggs? If I convert some of these into eggs, let's see. Seven, seven. That won't be quite enough meat for seven bacon eggs. I think meatballs is probably the way to go. So I'm just going to do meatballs for now. Actually, I could do two bacon eggs. With the eggs we have. Because I don't like to waste. And we'll just use the rest for meatballs. Alright. 19 meatballs. And what do I have bundled up in here? More meatballs, more meaty stew. Hmm. Hum, 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 hum. Well, I definitely want to bundle the coffee and the pierogies. I don't need those right now. I suppose I could use... Well, let's eat the... Let's eat the meaty stew right now. I'll keep that out. And I'll bundle up the meatballs, the coffee, and this stuff. Right? Eh, that's good for now. All right. Full bundle of food once again. Now, uh, let's drop some things off and get ready to head on out. So I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna grab a pitchfork. If I have a pitchfork. I do have a pitchfork. And now that I, now that I have bee boxes situated, I, I feel a little bit better about making some more bundles. Problem is, I don't have the papyrus to make the bundle, to make the wax paper, so that might have to wait for now. Okay, it'll wait for now. I can drop off all these things. I don't think I need a boat for anything. Bring a hammer just in case. And everything else can stay, right? I guess I'll bring an extra in froggles just in case. And that's it. All right, for now, I'm just going to run around my, my spawn island and grab the ancient stone turf that's around here. And actually, now that I've... Now that I've set out, I realize I'm gonna need a gas mask to traverse the gas biome, so I'm gonna run back and grab that. These trees are probably ready. Yeah. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna let the lag happen for now. How are these guys looking? You know, these are actually... Oh, I hate doing this at the same time, because this is gonna be a lag fest around here. Ooh, tree guards! Lovely. How many tree guards did we get? Just one? I'll let you live for now, because I wanna, I wanna get going while this is happening. It's actually not super laggy quite yet. 
But we're gonna have some wood to pick up when we come back. All right, let's just grab the gas mask and get on over to the gassy biome. Where's my gas mask? There it is. Let's do it. Yeah, I'm not sure why I did why I did this, at, why I'm doing this after making all that stone road turf for the doi doi slash berry slash honey slash everything else I need farm, but it will certainly find another use. If there's one thing I've learned, it's that I cannot have enough rocks in this friggin' DLC. And I think... Is that it for... Yeah, that's it for the... Oh no, there's some over here. Ah yes, the Krampus farm. Rip. <laughs> and the backpack I never even bothered to dismantle. I should probably... Yeah, I could probably... I, I probably should take this down, but there's always the possibility that I will need more that I will want another Krampus sack at some point. Or just like farm for monster meat and charcoal. It's actually quite efficient at that. And just farming food because you get a lot of food by robbing the grocer. Not that I'm want for oinks, but yeah, no. That's not the point. The point is you could do something more efficiently in this game, just do it. And I will try to avoid subjecting you to too much footage from here because the only way Wagstaff can get- Wait a minute, that's not a- I guess that's not turf. Wait, it is turf. That's- That is turf. Yo, come on- come on over here, buddy. Come here. Come here. Gotta check this out. If this breaks my- my pitchfork, I'm gonna be very upset. Nope! That was actually turf. Okay. Uh, if you use the pitchfork on this poisonous turf, then you lose your pitchfork immediately. It's kind of funny, actually. Considering how much durability you get on a pitchfork- Whoa, no! You bastard. Oh, it locks you into the animation, that's right. I've been playing too much DST, y'all. Way too much DST. Alright, can I get this without- Without you guys bothering me? Alright, I'm just gonna- I'm just gonna lead y'all away. Get away! Get away. Oh, I see it. There's one more spot. One more spot, right there. Gotta get these guys away, get them away, get them away. Let's go in for it. Oh, did you have to be right next to the... Did you have to be right next to that flytrap stalk? Oops, I used it on the wrong turf. Means I gotta make another pitchfork. But I think this is the last zone and then I can be rid of this blurry gas nightmare. Ugh. These guys do not make this process any more relaxing. <laughs> God, I do not want to get bit by them while, uh, yeah, definitely not. Oh, uh, let's make another pitchfork. I'm just trying to like keep moving because I like can't look at the screen while doing this. While looking at the crafting menu. Okay, I think that's a spot. Oh, we can't have that, but I don't want to go crazy again. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna wait to drink the coffee until I'm on my way out of here. Is that it? I think that's it. I don't see any more. I don't see any more. Is that all of it? That might be all of the. Uh, that might be all of it for here. Okay, let's get the hell out of here. Okay, not bad. Almost seven stacks of cut stone from just a single. Islands worth of uh, and like that that really didn't take very much time at all Well, that pan flute seems a little large Whatever, okay, so now we can uh, drop these things off and uh, I should probably clean up that mess of a tree farm and get stuff replanted So I'm gonna focus on doing that right now So check back with you in a few Oh, and this is actually a good opportunity to take down this tree guard Honestly, I was expecting I was expecting more tree guards. A lot more tree guards. Ooh. I was expecting a lot more tree guards from a harvest that large, but whatever, Hamlet's weird. I'll take what I can. Six living logs, I cannot complain. But there's, this is reminding me that I want to build a telelocator pad over to the palace island to have easy access to uh, the Mandrake elders for grabbing living logs. I should also probably build some arcane shops. Honestly, there's just there's plenty of plenty of routes for getting living logs. I just haven't taken the time to explore them as thoroughly as I would have liked to. And I'm crazy again. 
Lovely. All right, let's grab the. I'm, I'm gonna put my put my helmet on just in case. I don't want to get I don't want to get bitten in the in the blur. Yeah, now we spend probably five to ten minutes just holding down action button, picking up all this crap. But it looks like this is missing missing some spots, and I I'm not super happy about that because it might mean that I got to build another layer of tr of walls. Which I will do. Maybe we can do... Maybe we can do... Like a layer of hay walls. I'm gonna... I'm gonna explore that option after picking up these trees. Got a round of bats on me, so I'm just gonna throw on the cactus armor and... Get to running around this business. Can I grab a coffee? Yeah. Yeah, this is definitely my... <laughs> this is definitely my, my new go-to for... For dealing with bats. They just take care of them so friggin' fast. It's amazing. It's incredible. And these guys are scared. These guys are scared of the bats. Uh-oh. I got two nightmares now. Let's do something about that. Oh, it finally happened. We got a we got a a piece of loot inside the cactus. Yeah, I think I think I want to remove one of the elephant cactus, because yeah, I want to be able to get in there. Definitely. Huh. Alright, I'll look at that later. Back to the trees! Oh, shoot! Look at you! Look at you! You know, I should check the farm just to make sure there's no bats in there. Nope, we're good. Okay. To the trees! Alright. The zones have been cleared. Both of them. Picked them all up or find them all on the boards. Here's what we got. Let's see what we got. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh my goodness. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen stacks of boards, and it looks like like six stacks of pine cones. I'm definitely not gonna fit all those pine cones into the next batch. Because, yeah, I got a feeling it's going to be. Most of those pine cones are going to go into pack them and turn to rot for the coffee farm. But it's good to see it's good to see those boards get replenished. And I also look forward to replenishing the rock supply. Wouldn't it be cool if we could do all that in one episode? Still have an empty box. That's okay. As a reminder of how much how many resources we will actually need. Okay, let's uh let's get the hell out of here. I wanna I wanna I want to get to another island, and I got my I got my eyes on the this island. Yeah, I got my eyes on the palace island. No, I got my eyes on the Puglisk island. There's going to be lots and lots of good stuff in here. Now I'm just I don't remember if the Puglisk is dead, but either way, I'm going to. I think the quickest way to do this is to blow the bird whistle, and let. Let Mr. BFB take me away. And I will remember a machete this time. I will not forget the machete. Anything else needs needing? I don't think so. I think I think I'm just gonna over prepare and I don't wanna do that. Uh I will grab I will grab I will grab a little bit of gold just in case I need another thing of mo uh, another thing of goggles. Oh, and I'm gonna drop this off. Okay, but then, yeah, we can go. All right, let's go. Actually, one more thing. I'm gonna make another log suit, and I'm going to stick the... I'm gonna stick this log suit in here so that I'm reminded to make another, uh, another cactus armor when I can. Let's do this. I got food, right? I'm good. I'm totally good. Let us blow the whistle. I should grab more. Ugh, it's too late now. I was I, I was saying I should have probably I should have probably grabbed more cut grass, but it is far too late for that now. We are going. Oh, where'd you just drop more dung? I gotta dig up all these dung piles. This is getting disgusting. Ugh, absolutely gross. Come on, buddy. I need you. I need you here. Oh, that's probably another good thing to get. And I'm just gonna, you know, I'm just gonna pick, 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 so that I can get my sanity back up. I'm gonna leave the bird whistle here too because I don't need it. 
I won't need it where I'm going. Hello. Hello, you are so beautiful. You are so, you don't know how beautiful you are. You never will. You never will. I look, I never noticed that you, she got the tree on the nose like the tree here. That's pretty cool, I think. Wait, are you? You just made a motion that made me a little nervous, and I don't like it. And why is there a telocate? Oh, right, because I got the... You know, I could probably hammer that down. But I don't want to do it right now. I want to get to this... Oh, I forgot my pitchfork. I'll make another one. We'll make another one. Hopefully the... Oh, hopefully the puglisk is not right upstairs. That would make me sad. That would make me very sad. So I will put on... I will put on some armor just to be safe about it. This is the way out? Yeah, okay. Uh, uh. I don't see... Oh, cool! I can grab that before I leave. But for now, we got some... Got some turf to pitchfork. Yay! Yay! So much cut stone. <laughs> so much! It's just here. It's just free. It's completely free. And I'm gonna take it because it's mine and it belongs to me. I think I've killed Puglisk enough times. I think I deserve a nice treat in the form of cut stone. So I'm gonna dig all of it up. And then I'm gonna dig all of this crap up. And then I'm gonna dig up all the crap in the forest because... Uh, because I've been working very hard and I need resources. Oh, come on. Let me dig it. Let me dig it. Can I get... Yeah, let me get it. I want it all. I want all of it. All of it. I want the ominous carving turf. I want all of it. Give me all of it. Okay, this happened. This happened in the last playthrough. There was actually some more turf on the other side of this pond. There was like a little, a little island on the other side of this pond with turf. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go look now, but I want to. I really want to because I'm knowing the game. Knowing the game, it will, there will most certainly be some turf over there for me to dig. But I'm not going to mess with it now. Because there's plenty of turf over here to dig up as well. Got some stone slabs going on. I can definitely mine those for rocks. Happy to do so. Ooh, a rock and a rock. And actually, I want to check something while I'm out here because we got these, we got these uh, ancient walls and I'm pretty sure they can be hammered. Yes. Will do. Will certainly do. I'm just gonna take all of the rocks I could possibly find around here. Yay! It's too bad you can't craft with these rocks. I would, uh, with the turf. I would definitely, uh, I would definitely use the turf. In my builds, I got the Hamlet Turfs mod enabled on, um, over on DST, and, uh, yeah, cause I just really like the teetering pillar. Can I, can I knock you down? Nope. Nope. Just pick up the rocks. Oh, so these guys are kind of here to stay. That's weird. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Fine. 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 I'm tempted to just run around and mine all of these, all these slabs, because each of them represents one rock. I think I already. Wait. What? What exactly? Does this spawn ghosts? <laughs> I'm happy the answer to that is no. Maybe they do. Maybe it's like a chance thing. But yeah, at this point, I'm kind of I'm kind of in of the mind to just raid, take everything, absolutely everything this world has to offer. Well, just from the turf alone, we've gotten six, seven, eight, almost nine stacks of cut stone from this island. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. I don't think I've missed any spots. Doesn't look like it. I haven't even mined all the statues. There's probably a lot of resources left to collect, but I am... Yeah, I'm kind of done with this this area for now. So I think I will... I think I will head on home. Let's just grab what we can, and let's get going. Oh! Look at that! I totally forgot myself! And <laughs> I allowed myself to just start starving. Getting deja vu from the the stream the other day. I uh, I couldn't figure out why my health was going down. I thought it was freezing. I thought, yeah, I, I didn't know what was going on. And uh, yeah, it turns out I was starving. And I died from starvation. I had seeds in my inventory. I could have just eaten seeds and I would have been fine. Totally fine, but nope, nope. 
Jazzy's gotta, Jazzy's gotta figure things out on his own. <laughs> it's the title of the game, man! How could you mess that up? It's the title of the friggin' game! Oh, uh, one more meatball, sure. It's the title of the friggin' game! Whatever, I, I'm, I have my ways. And it's not gonna change anytime soon. <laughs> Yeah, go check out the- just go- go check out the clip when you can. It's just me like... Like, why am- why is this happening? What's going on? I don't get it. And like, people- people in the chat are telling me and I'm not looking at the chat. I'm not even- Yeah, I- yeah, it's stupid. It's silly! Go watch it. It's amazing. <laughs> Every time I come back through here, I leave a machete on the ground. This goes to show you how often I can repeat the same mistakes over and friggin' over again. But hey, we are returning with some loot. I need to make another f another spec. Spec? Specs? Yeah, singular of specs. That makes sense, right? Sure it does, Jazzy. Sure it does. Alright, I'm just gonna leave this crap up at the oddity store because I'm just going to trade that right in. Lovely. And life is good again. Full stack of cut stone, and I could actually do another stack, or another almost full chest of cut stone in here. Cool! We'll see how long that lasts! <laughs> oh, I missed one. I missed one. Okay, while I'm back here, oh, why did I... Uh, I should have brought my hammer. Let's grab my hammer, because I want to do a little bit of renovating in that room. Just a little bit. Alright, the first thing I want to do is hammer these guys, because they block access to these chests, and that is not a bueno thing. Now, I, eventually I want to build more doors to other rooms, but right now that's not a, the biggest priority. If I'm, I'm, I'm content with two rooms. I just want to make it look a little nicer in here, and I think the first thing we can do is add some some fancy windows. Let's see. Peaked curtain, tall window might be nice. This is just like the full wall, which doesn't seem all that necessary. Large square curtain window. You know what? I think I gotta start with the with the walls and the floors before I can figure out what <laughs> interior decorator. How about um all right, how about flooring? Let's start with flooring. We could start there, right? Right, right, right. Uh wood flooring is what we have. Slate flooring might be nice. Not sheet metal. Garden stone, geometric tile, shag carpet. What does that look like? No. No 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 no. Wooden panel flooring might be a little nicer. I like that. That match uh, is too- is it too much brown? Might be too much brown. Oof. And this is gonna get expensive, like, messing around too much with it. Let's try the hexagon flooring. Nope. Curse your hoof. I don't even know what that means. Octagon. God, I'm just blowing a lot of oinks right here. We're gonna need more oinks! Let's grab these. God, how much money did I just spend? Alright, the walls. The walls. Wallpaper. That's what I was- oh god, you added a lot, Clay. Let's see, we got- one of the floors? Rope wall paneling? Peacock wallpaper? This- this room is looking weird. It's looking a little weird. Fine wall tiling? God, this is getting expensive. Okay. Let's- let's, uh, let's- let's go with that for now. Let's get some friggin' windows up in here. Cause there's, I think, I feel like we're we're not utilizing the light situation as well as we could. Let's try, let's try something simple like a tall. Actually, ooh, could we get, could we get two windows going on on each side? Come on, come on. Could we get two windows on each side? That would be amazing. Probably unnecessary, but amazing. Now, in the last playthrough, the light that shone through here. Oh, that's gorgeous. The light that shone through here kind of collided with the. Kind of blocked access to these chests, but it looks like that is no longer a problem. So let's do. That was the tall light, tall curtain, and it's not super expensive. Can I do another one? Yes, I can. <sighs> Two on each side. Let's see how that looks. I think it's gonna look really nice. That certainly made a difference. I'm still not sold on the wallpaper, but I like that it kind of, it kind of. Like, it marks the end of the floor and the start of the walls. So I like it because of that. I don't know if the whole color scheme is something I'm necessarily into, but I like the I like the light that it all provides. It probably doesn't provide as much light at night, but maybe it'll be enough for now. Okay, well, I can certainly put down mini signs 
for the next row of chests. Just on the way to, uh, to getting, to preparing for the next row of chests, right? Eh. Eh. So hard to place. Yeah, this is just gonna be a chest room. And I hope that I never decide to move it because it would be very expensive. I feel like I need a separate room for, like, helmets and goggles and stuff because there's just, like, there's nowhere good to put it right now. Alright, Packham. You're gonna be over here for a little bit. Oh, there's some wicks on the ground I missed. And actually, you can hold on to, you can hold on to the oinks now. Don't need them anymore. Let's see. Uh, mini sign. Do I even have the feather pencils to write on these? And if I did, what would they say? I got three. I can make two more. And I think there's some feathers kicking around outside. All right, let's make. Let's indicate the doodad box. The doodad box. Yay! All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna write, write on the rest of these. Okay, that's all I can label for now. So I, I guess I'm just dumping these goggles in the corner for the time being. It's less light in the corners than I would have liked to have, but plenty of light once the sun comes up. All right, let's drop these things off. Armor. I guess armor can go over here too. Sewing kit, I don't even know what I'd do with the sewing kit. Repair my gas mask, I suppose. Yay. Oh, and now that I have cut stone, I suppose I can make a, another visor. I like that the visor does not require a doodad. It's always welcome. All right, cool. Looking good for now. Uh, I'm gonna end the episode here, but in the next episode we will continue building. I wanna, uh, I wanna take a look at our uh, our tree farm again. Maybe build another walls around the perimeter to keep those trees from growing and just yeah, continue expanding the base and thriving and doing all the things. Anyways, hope you're enjoying the series, and I will see you next time. Bye bye.